Welcome, I am the Emperor and this is Crusader Kings 3 and we are playing in Ireland and I'm trying to teach you the game. So if you're watching this over on YouTube, thank you very much and welcome. If you have any questions whatsoever about your own game, about this campaign, feel free to ask. I will try and explain as much as I can while I play, but I might omit certain things. Also feel free to come over to Twitch. We stream Crusader Kings twice a week, Mondays and Saturdays evenings, GMT plus two around, or plus one, around seven, uh, no, around eight, there we go. And we are working off the beginner island. So this video is part of a playlist, check that out as well. And um, the beginner island is called beginner island because it is fairly beginner friendly. You are halfway safe and in just very few years we have managed to create the kingdom of Ireland. not just create the kingdom of Ireland, but actually work our way over here now something i haven't checked and i have forgotten to do is actually we have a little bit of a problem we hold enough of the kingdom of wales that it could be created why is it a problem because our succession type is at the moment confederate petition and that means that our heirs will all equally inherit and they will try to get the same types of uh, of titles if at all possible so that also means that a title that doesn't even exist like the kingdom of wales will be created for a child of ours Upon succession. So now the Kingdom of Wales is fairly small and everyone will have the rights to it. So our son will be able to take it quickly and easily from their siblings. But we need to be a little bit more mindful of that. Ideally, we go into kingdoms that already exist to which we do not hold the title. Ideally, ideally, we just manage to get 75 de jure counties of the empire of Britannia and form that thing like that's that's the absolute best case scenario then we don't need to care about kingdom titles anymore because we're not going to get a succession type that is any way better than what we currently have so that's something to keep in mind uh, if we go for the Kingdom of Alba, for example, but we leave a little bit of it, just a wee little bit, and we can't right now because we're already at shoes with them because we, we fought them before, but they, there's Northumbria, you know, that's a that's a choice little morsel for us to take, and we could just conquer... Oh, uh, well, we could conquer the duchy, but since the, it's two duchies with exactly one county, we might as well conquer the county, that is a little bit cheaper in terms of prestige for us. And we're very young still. We're 31, barely. So we have a good amount of time to fight our way across this place. We could go for Cromwell, uh, Cornwell, which is part of the Kingdom of England, which already exists. But, uh, well, actually, wait, no. At the moment, it doesn't exist. Yeah, it was destroyed again. <laughs> but... Um, Oh, if we take it, that could also be created. Oh no, it only has two places, two counties of that. Now, the Kingdom of Wessex is just this. So, taking stuff from Wessex would also be really good. But, Wessex is... They're actually quite, quite equal to us. In terms of manpower and everything. So, we might be better served in taking smaller stuff, but... Since most of this here is England and we already hold a bunch, we don't actually have all that many options anymore in getting places. But if we take Cornwall, for example, then we have some opening lines here to raid across the border. But I think we'll concern ourselves with the north first. I don't want Alba to get any ideas of them being capable of growing a little bigger. Now, something which would be really cool is a marriage, a alliance with the French, because they have holdings on our 
island. And they actually will accept. So our daughter will marry the Prince King Philip. Well, Prince Prince Theodoric, uh, son to King Philip of France. And that gives us a nice alliance with France. So we could actually take on Wessex. And I think breaking Wessex up quickly, early, weakening them is going to be very important for us. And France having land here will be able to spawn troops right there. I don't care so much about them having land there. Not, not at the moment. But let's get that going. Also speed down the game a little bit. I don't know exactly why we're being so quick about everything. There we go. Alliance is accepted. So now we can call them into war. We have some more prisoners to ransom and we'll sure do that. Now let's consider a moment. Glare. Who do you belong to? Oh, you're just you're just your own thing here. But that's again in the Kingdom of England, so we'll stay away from that title. Instead, we'll get some of this stuff. So he's fighting against some claims and he's sort of winning. So that's fine for us. We all go... Do we take Northumberland? Or... This. Let me check what is Northumberland part of. Kingdom of England. So we'll take the islands there instead. They are not super great. But they are taking away from what Alba might possibly get themselves. So it is great enough for us. And we'll raise our armies right here. I think we'll go with... Men at arms and local army only. Because he doesn't have a lot of troops. If we look here, he has 307. So we don't need to raise everyone for this. Just the local army and all men at arms. So it's going to be a fairly str strong army. Definitely capable of defeating him. He's trying to cross the channel. Or, no, actually, he's trying to board ships, but we will catch him before he does that. It is winter right now, and our winter commander, of course, has a decent advantage here. If we're lucky, we just capture him, or someone important in this war. We have another daughter, which is very good. Let's give her a nice little Christian name, Christina. So that's done. Now, the problem, this army who he's fighting in a different war, is hostile to us. So we need to be a little bit careful on how we get there. And why would we lose troops right there? I don't see anything else where we could go. We have to get on this thing. So I hope they don't come to fight our army. They might, though. They might do that. Yeah, they're definitely coming for us. So we have to raise everyone. Because this outsider's army... ...is trying to get at us. And we just want to dissuade him from doing that. The reason why he wants to fight us... ...is because he's fighting the same war, possibly for the same thing as we are. And he, of course, thinks, no, this this is my birthright. This is what I came for. You can't take it from me. So if he takes our troops, then he has a decent chance at uh, preventing us from taking it. So we need to gather more troops and fight a little bit more sensibly here. Costs us more money, but we'll try and deal with that in a moment. Let's see. Paying homage. Ah, yes. Um... Please enter. So when you're a king, people come to your court, your vassals, and they will pay homage to you. And they will be, oh, my liege, please I'll take these little morsels of gold. And he brings us money and prestige. So he is most welcome in our court. That's not an event that you see in the courtroom. 
But that's fine. So we have more prisoners that can be ransomed again. Now, first, since he's an expensive lad. Oh, we're being raided. By the Scots. Let's group this army here. So we can move them as one. And we'll go get them. So, before we ransom someone, always check your war score from prisoners. That you don't accidentally ransom someone who is giving you a lot of war score. Another thing we can always check for a war is setting our marshal on organized army. This will reduce the maintenance cost of a raised army. Not an unraised army, mind. So, during war, set him to organize the army while you're at war. Apart from that, just go with what you go. And... Okay, he keeps raiding a little bit. We'll see. He he'll get he'll get payback for it. First we win our little war and then we go crush those raiders. Okay, that's that. We enforce our demands, so we've taken the Isle of Sky. And now we go here and attack him, ideally, if we can. So, we are holding too much. We're not allowed to hold that here. So, in our succession, at the moment, we only have one boy. So, all goes to him. But I'm sure we have someone who is worthy of the title here. Let's see. A friend and a duke. Wait, is he already a duke? already a duke um so i don't want to give our duke more stuff although he's our friend wait oh no he's the duke's marshal that's what he is i think he lost his title i gave him one well let's give him another title let's bring him back bring him back home and I'll even pay ransom for your wife. Because I want him to be happy. Oh, the Duke is his child. So everything kind of went decently there. Okay, so another thing is we have now inherited the war. Because he, this Duke here inside the Kingdom of Alba, he was actually warring to get those islands. So we inherited this war basically. Now we have to fight him off. Um, a chief this has some secret lover. I'll just run with it. Nothing we want to do with that yet. And of course we are quite a bit stronger than him. So I'm not so not so worried about the outcome here. Of course, we're being pretty hard counted on our troops, which is a bit sad, meaning they deal a lot less damage than they could. But if if my eyes don't deceive this deceive me, it looks like he's still part of Alba, but 50% of Alba is basically his territory. Okay, something I didn't notice is that he has two armies. So this one... And that one down there. So we'll go fight the other army first. We might actually have to bring in an ally for this. Okay, we'll try and catch the smaller army. Though he's turning around so he can fight us in mountains somewhere. Okay, uh, we'll just go up to our island. It's hills and he has to cross the water a straight to get to us. So we will be in a in a very good defensive position. Let him come. We could also try and white piece out of this. Let's see. Desperate measures in the feud. Our feud with House Vesex has been a disaster. We are no closer to revenge. Um I have no plans for them. Let's see. We could try and kill this guy, but we're compassionate. I have other plans for them. No, no, no. We'll still go there. So, we can try and white piece out of this. It's not our war. I don't care to win this war. Um, 
it's really mainly bad for him. All of our vassals lose 10 opinion of us. Uh, all the glory hound vassals we have, which is two. So I don't care. Um, so he loses a bunch of prestige, but we are out of this war right now. And I don't have to worry about fighting it. Because he's actually quite strong compared to his king. <laughs> so uh, that's not great. And now we go and raid him. <laughs> Basically, let's see if there's even anything there. Oh, look at that. That's a nice little church you got there. So we'll raid our army going south. He might raise his army to defend. So keep that in mind. We haven't raised all our troops yet. But he might just do that. Ah, we can't raid him because we have a truce with him. Right, I forget. All right, let's let's go uh, let's go south then, and we'll start a war with Wessex. And he's already at war, I would say. Oh no, that's some internal strife going on. What's this? Alba facing Northman army conquest of the High Hifton of Man, which is good. That's just the Isle of Man. That's something we can take then after the the Northmen take it. They might win that. So far it's undecided, but it could turn out that way. Right, okay. Um, our troops are almost where they need to be. So we can disband them. Actually... Yeah, I see where you want to go. Okay, no. I need to disband my troops so we can start another war. A faction was created against us. Duchy of Gwynedd. Alright. So we cannot do that. Until enemies have moved far enough from us. So now we can take on Wessex. And when selecting the target, go for where they have their capital. That's usually a pretty strong place. Otherwise, they wouldn't have their capital there. So that's a good place to take, basically. That's a pretty good place to take. So, what duchy is that? How did I manage not to click that one duchy there? The duchy of Wessex. So that would hurt him a little bit, I would think. And we'll declare this war. And we will call in our French allies. King Philippe. And actually we're also going to call in the Barcelonians again. Because they have been very nice to us. In this. Could negotiate an intern. In-house alliance. So our house is feuding with Vesex. Rewards for beating them. Currently, Dalburn is losing to Vesex. Because they have killed more of our people, basically. But look at that. Vesexian armies. Standing around in our lands. Because they're currently raised to fight some more. Which is nice, because they're also split in our lands. So, we can now go. And hopefully, maybe, potentially, catch them. Split up. Our friend is back in our fold, and he is a fantastic commander. 37. Okay, we might have to wait until our allies join us. For this fight to be feasible for us. So he went down into the woods here. Can we take that? I mean, we'll, we'll try. His army has much higher quality than ours. At the size that it is, so... This could go wrong. This could go wrong. And I think... It's very, very, very equal at the moment. It's very equal. We have some allies coming in. The French are arriving. But we are barely winning it anyway. Even without our allies. So that's good. He's leading personally. So always a chance to capture him. And now we immediately go south... And go siege his capital there. 
Our allies might be looking to fight his armies elsewhere, stuff like that. Okay, our player and son becomes curious, that's fine. He is going for education focus, so curiosity, of course, is a bit of a boon. And now we'll siege his capital. Our allies are close by. This will take forever because it's a very strong stronghold. And we just hope that our allies are quick in sieging and also happy to help defend. Uh, problem is right now, we just, if you, if you watched it, we lost a whole bunch of troops there. These siege battles, these phases, can also go against your army. Um, so that, of course, is a problem. He's sieging us back, but... I don't care so much. We won a big battle, a very important battle, and taking this out of his uh, country will be will be difficult for him. Let's see. Oh no, our cat died. I don't want mittens pelt. I find I find that so macabre. Uh, so we'll miss your mittens. Lost our cat. Let's hold some court while we are at it. Let's see. First petitioner, please. Come, come, come forward. Come now. Um, let's see. We have... It is time for foreign subjects to adopt the moors of their betters. Let's see. Cultural exception between Irish is increased by 10%. We spend a bit of uh, prestige. I think. There's much you could learn from other traditions. Now, don't be a fool here. You fool. Right. My lord. Usually, you can kind of read just the second paragraph that I have found that's often enough, not always. I have to tell you that he, uh, that the people are intensely dissatisfied with your high queen, Caesarea. We fear that her recent behavior is not becoming of a good and loyal high queen. And we demand that you do something about it. Okay. So... This is a diplomacy challenge right now. Uh, the top one. You can see always up here. It says diplomacy challenge. It says intrigue. It says prowess. Whatever. So we are a, a diplomat. That's what we're best at. So this is a high success chance. And uh, I'm sure if you looked at this another way. Let's see if we can convince the dukes to think about. No. We couldn't. The dukes are not convinced. They are very much against us. 88% chance of winning. Iron Jesus was not with us today. Let's see. My liege, Aberforth is among the greatest houses in Ireland. Powys Council should always be heard by the High King. Excluding your most qualified and prominent followers only serves to sow division and mistrust. Um, council rights guaranteed. No. I mean, he's not terrible as such, but... Such entitlement demands sacrifices. Uh, so we would get the Lordship of Felix, which I don't really care so much about. Is it not enough to be Duke? In exchange for greater commitments, of course, so we could increase his taxes and that he gets council rights. I'm not giving away the council rights. Be enough. Be enough. Be satisfied with being a Duke. Okay, so this wasn't the best council we ever had. Didn't work out too well for us. So Barcelona is showing up now. The French have taken the first siege. We have a perk available. Friendly council. Each of your friend relations gives you two random skill points. So look at that. We have a bunch of friends already. We have 25, 3, 7, 16. 22, 7, 5, 7, 20. <laughs> that was a lot of learning that came in there. I would really enjoy if one of the allies that has siege weapons actually joined me here. Well, we might consider moving our head uh, quarters over to this. This is a pretty good county to be headquartered in. Let's see. Greetings. I write to inform you that I discover a maid about you disengaging in your unsavory room. I'm behind your back and since you're what? I sincerely hope uh, I will not forget your gesture. We are compassionate. He gets a hook. No. No, no, no. No, no, no. You better forget about all of this. Kuld. 
I don't... I don't concern myself with secrets. Faction against us has been disbanded we, because our brother died, who was an uh, integral part in that. We got some stress out of it. Let's check. Um, uh, there's really not much we can do to increase our stress relief. We could go have a feast. Let's go do that. That, that takes stress out a little bit. And we'll have it down here. And we don't need the prestige from this. And we also don't really need the opinion. We just want the stress gone. So we'll have a small little feast. We need a new spy master. Let's see our vassal and commander. Can't wait for the feast. So they are a strong vassal, our niece and a friend. So a friend wouldn't do anything to us anyhow. So instead, we're going to put this guy in here. He kind of hates us, so we might start befriending him, maybe. Just so our spy master isn't, isn't hostile to us. All right, let's go for the feast. We're doing the exact same thing as our guest here. Is, is this charades? Is that what charades is? I haven't been to a party in a while. What is charades? Chat? Comment, let me know what is charades. Is this charades? People doing the exact thing as another people person is doing? Alright, yes. Please, bring in the duke. Gold you can bring, you rumor monger. Oh, renown and everything. Good stuff. His visit to us. Fantastic for us. Could restore some accolades. Ugh, yeah. Why are accolades always such a weird thing? And why do I need to restore it? I already have someone. Could go find a worthy accolade successor though. That that wouldn't hurt. So they finish their siege here before we finish our siege down here. But it's fine. We're not going to move. Feast is starting. The reason I'm not going to move is because he has to defend his lands. Not attack mine. And we are going to go for the, this is where I want to be, decision which just loses us the most stress. So now we are down a level in stress. And we're quite low again. So that's great. Everything else. Oh. Our wife and soulmate also becomes our friend. Look at that. She has all the great opinion of us. Well, they just happen to be interesting. Okay. We overhear some secrets. And she gets some opinion of us. As you can see, I don't even read everything. I do recommend you do. But I'm just kind of going by what the what the positive things here are. So right now, I don't want to spend gold. I'd rather spend some prestige. So that's fine. And we're at 80% winning this one. We're done. Oh. 80% down to 66 just from one siege. That is actually quite impressive. But I wouldn't have thought that would be that much. All right. That's fine. We are going to get this in just a moment. This won't take too much longer. There's desertion going on, rampant disease, they're starving. We could assault the fort. No. The walls, ha the walls have not been breached, impressively enough. Two days, one day. There we go. And, uh, yeah. We captured a prince here. So that's done for him. And he has to cede all this. <laughs> now, something we can do. And we absolutely should do. Is we have one son right now. Landing him. First we find him a wife. First things first. Not our niece. That would be good. But uh, we'll. We want someone with a little bit closer age difference. So Duchy of Neustria. I don't really care. But they're hale. So that's pretty good. Uh, he's very very young. He's three. So we get him someone who's equally three. So that's fine. Small thing. 
And now we're just gonna grant him all these titles. Basically. At the moment, he's to inherit all of it anyway. Anyway. He's gonna get it. So might as well give him all these titles. So they can't go away if there's another heir introduced eventually in the bloodline. As long as you have one heir, you can give him as many titles as you want. Uh, it, it might not make too much sense, but those titles he already has, other heirs, no matter the partition type, won't take from him. Only what is available is going to be split. So um, that is actually a sensible thing to do. Now let's check real quick if we can't get the petty kingdom here usurped from him. Uh, it takes us 250 gold. And I think we'll do that. We'll usurp it. And we'll grant it to... No. We'll grant it to our boy. He can be a duke. Grant titles. There you go. Be a duke. At your very tender young age. So that's done now. Wessex is now considerably, considerably weaker. Almost 1,100 troops less at their disposal. We also have to regenerate a little bit. But um, that's okay. And we could... Uh, no. We are in a feud with this family. So... <clears throat> he goes into the dungeon. Accolade successor, successor found. Um, let's see. I mean, he's pretty good. Let's get him a wife. Get him someone to generate us some courtiers with. Ah, we need to change this. Reset to defaults so we can actually find younger women again in here. Hmm. She's young and healthy. So that's fine. Now we need to go to the accolade thingy. We need to go here and we need to put him as a successor in. There we go. When you have only one accolade, that's all it's kind of fine. That's somewhat simple and easy to deal with. It gets a bit annoying when you have um four or five accolades. Because you can't just find accolades for everyone. Uh, or successes for all the accolades. Just kind of have to go piecemeal there. Call to war. Uh, the Duchy of Neustria, which we just allied with, is calling us to war against whom? Against the Duchy of Poitiers. Uh, this this is somewhere here in France, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Uh, right. So we don't necessarily have to go there. We don't necessarily have to do that. I think we shall. It's not going to be a lot. In terms of... Um... No. In terms of prestige that we can get out of it. And it's going to cost us actually quite a bit to go there. So, let's see. Let's create ourselves a little flag here. Orange one. I would rather my troops... Regenerate. We could send just our men at arms and connect them to him. But if they get crushed, that's a bad thing for us. Is that all troops in this war? 2,800, so no, there's more coming. Our 800 to these is 2,500 plus these. That's not enough. That's not enough. And they have a lot of light horse. Holy heck, 300? It's a lot of light hose. Mm, I have a lot of retinue in there. A lot of men in arms. I don't think we're gonna go. <laughs> Sometimes they're gonna get mad about that. But generally, you don't really need to care all that much. Oh, there's a hunt going on, which we can just join. Costs us a little bit. But we'll go do that for sure. And now it's time to raid. Guess what? Cannot raise raiders while we're at war. Ah, darn. Okay, fine. So helping in that war would actually help us. Because we would be able to raise raiders again. Okay, fine. We'll go. And this hunt, I don't really care. We just go there. 
So our our clan, our house is now even met uh, with the enemy. Very good. We gain 50 gold and we lose some stress because uh, a falcon is bringing us some baubles. Very good. Which pays for our troops crossing the channel. Time to go hunt. So how is our feud going? Nicely done. We are closer than ever, so we become friends with uh, our spy master, who still pretty much hates us. Honestly, we should probably try and become friends with all these people here. Already friends, already friends, allies, not friends. Let's see, is there not another duchy? This lady here. She hates us a little bit. Um, let's befriend her. 29% chance. Oh, that's not, that's not good. That ain't a lot. All right, we got a goose feather out of the hunt. No, we didn't. Uh, the hunt leader, creator, setter upper. The person who came up with the hunt got it. Okay, let's land elsewhere. No, I don't want to cross. Okay, we land here where, where I initially, initially wanted to go. If we land here, we have to cross a river to get to them. If we land here, we can walk across land to get to them. Though our allies do have to cross the river, but I don't care so much. Question is, will we be able to defeat these? Reason I want to land a little bit further away from them is because we get quite a bit of a negative modifier. Um, so, how long does it last until we see it somewhere? I don't think we actually can see it. So right now the enemy is... Okay, they're moving away. Okay, not sure why. Okay, I think now the modifier dropped off, so we're no longer having the negative for uh, dropping off the ship right now. So we can just kind of follow him around. As we saw earlier, we will defeat this army when we meet them in the field. Neighboring ruler won a war. Wessex won a war. I don't like Wessex winning wars. What did you win? Something here, I think. And he evaded me. Sneaky lad. I don't think he can run away here. Another diplomacy, sound foundation. Each, shot, each living child gives you one random skill point. Maximum of five, so. Let's see what do we get. Oh, we got a little bit in diplomacy. That's okay. So if we win this battle, which should be fine with our 37 commander advantage, which is very, very big. Do not underestimate this. Should be fine here. Uh, but that didn't give a lot of uh, war score at the moment. So we'll just keep following them around. They're likely to go somewhere toward their home, trying to recuperate there. So we just generally walk in the same direction. We'll likely follow this path. They do have to go back to places that are their own. So they have to run somewhere down here. Our ally, meanwhile, is retaking what was sieged. So let's look at this. Uh, war score plus 16%. Okay, they don't have to go back to what, what they own, but they have to go very close to it, anyhow. Let's see, we can catch them here in these woods. Oh no, we cannot. They are faster than us. It's a big shame. Okay, this will be a lot of running after them. You want me to free this guy to get a better opinion of me? Sure, have it. I don't care who, who that is or why or anything. So now we're just going to chase them. I, I hate that. Sometimes the game does that. Where you just chase another army for hours and hours. <laughs> Month in game time. 
I find that really, really annoying. That's just not fun. But it is what it is. We can upgrade our army speeds with certain buildings, with certain commanders, all that. Okay, we're not befriending that lady. She's not into friendship. Ah, the Dynasty Legacy. Let's see. Convergent uh, Blood. Chance of reinforcing congenital traits plus 30%. He's all about building a solid bloodline. As well, you should when starting out. This is one of the very best Dynasty Legacies you can get. That will improve your chances of surviving in the medieval world tenfold. So definitely my suggestion, keep that kin legacy fulfilled. You can absolutely play and be very successful without that. You don't need to take it. But it's definitely good if you do. Let's see, I don't want to ransom him. Uh, let's, where's my prisoners? Here. Let's exclude the little lad from any mass actions. Oh, God. What's going on here? Social manipulation. Oh, goodness. All of this stresses us. We could go... <sighs> I don't like social manipulation. It's just, it's an event that pops up from time to time with the diplomacy skill tree. Uh, I don't like it. We'll just go with this. It doesn't really matter. We failed to manipulate them. Oh yeah, no wonder. I really don't like that event. I don't know why it's... There's no good way out of it. I don't think. It's just all kind of horrible. Feud beset by threats. Please, Duke Clyde Mules. This insane grudge has to stop. Uh, and I jump at the merest mention of Wessex. Our cousin is clearly shaken. I'm torn between the risks. You're right, it's time. Um, This was done with. We gain stalwart family. We lose house feud. Mm. The modifier is based on your current feud score. So monthly prestige plus 5%, natural dread plus 5. Uh, we could go. Con could continue here. Uh, nah, we are compassionate and patient and everything, so I think we'll be fine. You're right. It's time this was done with. So we're no longer feuding with Vesex. Doesn't mean we're forgetting or forgiving. Okay. I can't cut them off, so I'm not gonna try. We're gonna go siege something of theirs. This army now, our ally can easily deal with on their own. They don't need us anymore. So we can go siege, maybe earn some money. While we're down here. So how do we see stalwart family? It's somewhere. Should be here. Unworthy ruler. Why? <laughs> Two more years. I don't quite know why. Let's spread our religion a little bit through prisoners. <laughs> We can go ahead and negotiate some releases here. Also, is he good? Oh, he's a decent leader. He's actually really good. He has a very high uh, command skill here. So, thank you. Welcome. And... Uh, it's fine. Count Eve of Milu. Can't command him to convert. Demand conversion. He's not going to take that. He's going to take it. Is he good at all? Oh, yeah. He's, he's, he's decent as well. So we keep him. Demand conversion. And you leave. Bye. Demand conversion. And you leave. Bye. Let's turn some Catholics into insular Christians. Now, they might convert other people to our religion. See our ally is winning that battle there. Well done. So, we're closing in on the 50%, but this might not be topped 
as the war score modifier because they are the defenders here. Boy, we have so many internal wars going. So much going on here. And Wessex has strengthened itself a little bit. Like all these little open places there are a bit of a problem. We'll have to take more of Wessex. They can easily take all this, grow stronger. But right now we put a wall between them and Cornwall, so that at least should be a little less likely that they try and get that. Which is definitely good for us. Inspiration. Study in alchemy, he's considered a master. So enjoy, let's go, I sponsor you. Let's see. Artifact based on your instructions. I have heard rumors about the wonders of elixirs. A remedy for all disease. A paneka. A panakea. I want to live forever. <laughs> I want to live forever. We're not even going to be humble about this one bit. That's what I want. Oh, our wife's pregnant again. Court event available. What's going on here? A pool of blood. All right, okay. So this guy, he traveled here to meet us. Let's see. Let's treat him. He was success successfully treated. Okay, war score is 50 between holding the objectives, meaning what he's attacking us for. This guy here, we have imprisoned. Which should give us war score. I mean, he's he's the leader of an ally of the attacker. That should that should count as war score, I think. Let's speed up because the the siege is early on are just horribly horribly slow. We are still working on Anaga, but twenty six years <laughs> until we get them. Crop rotation is soon done though, so that's nice. Unlocks all tribal area economic buildings. All right, we wanted to check this here. We want to push through this. Characters can be imprisoned. Tribal rulers of non-tribal legions may settle, becoming feudal or clan. How generous. Um, slightly higher. Oh yeah, thank you for contributing here. Culture has discovered crop rotation, as expected. Uh, our integration efforts... Du -du 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 development goes down. I don't care so much. Yes, make it so. So we want to integrate the title so they don't think we're not their du jour liege, which is good for us. Less, uh, less chance of an uprising or a faction being built around this place. So we'll take it, even though it takes a little bit out of the development. And we'll push this. This is dangerous now because increasing this, everyone hates us more. But we'll need to get this so we can convert to feudal. Eventually. And we've taken this siege successfully. So let's go to the next place. We are being raided a bunch. Yeah, of course, it's it's them again. The Scots. Okay, so this place is too tough for us to raid. Let's see if another... Like this one here is clearly simpler. Okay, higher quality. I, I give him the book. I give him this book. Yeah, I give him this book. I trust you will make good use of the book. So he gets this to potentially increase the quality of our stuff. And we have born another son, a little Gregory. Didn't like Stephen so much. And he shall be also learned. All of our sons will be learned. We think education is power. Knowledge is power. Ah, very good. A siege that we can do a little bit easier. The war score, there's still some room up to 50%. So him fighting these fights is actually worthwhile. 96%. That was a big battle. Big war score win. And... Uh, see, nothing interesting to be done here. Our court grandeur decreases. I don't really care so much about that. We have a new court artifact. 
Ja, do we? What? Everything is displayed. I don't know what is new here. I don't think any anything is new. Odd. 99%. We're almost done with this war. Okay, he produced an elixir. Fertility plus 15%. Monthly learning lifestyle experience plus 5%. And prestige plus 0.3. So it's not necessarily better than the book. But it's also not necessarily worse. Maybe that was the court artifact here. That kind of triggered before it was actually done. So now we have this little elixir standing around there in our court. Increasing fertility. That's not bad. Fertility increase is pretty decent. Alright, so we won here. Now we can disband our troops. And now we can go raid a bunch out there in Alba, I'd say. Do we wait for our troops to replenish? No, we do not. We raise all here right now. New diplomacy. Now we become patriarch. Which gives us extra fertility, even more. Stress loss plus 20%. So every time we do lose stress for something, it's going to be 20% more. Close family opinion plus 15. House opinion plus 10. So we'll definitely take that. And after that, we're probably going to go through the August tree. To get our, our followers a little bit more in line. Raiding. Raiding. Combining. Do we still have a truce with you? No, we do not. So we could also attack them. Let's see, where can we raid? So I think we'll just go... Go around here. Starting Galloway. If he wants to fight us, he can. But we'll just raid through here. Get everything. Everything we can. Where even is his... Uh... Oh, right there. What is there to be had? Zero. <laughs> he might raise his troops to try and defend against us. We'll see. Nope. Not where I wanted to go. Sorry. Pure misclick. I wanted to see... If we also have a truce still with him, yeah. Okay, so our friend here died, meaning someone else is on the throne now, meaning someone new to befriend. The Mercians are pretty, pretty strong here. So there's another 13 gold. And of course we have a new Chancellor to be put in. Ah, very good. He's the best for the job anyway, and he's a strong vassal. Might as well give it to him. <sighs> Working for 47 more years. And now we can also ransom the count because we are out of that war, so we get a little bit of money out of it. Uh, this is raided, so we go there, there, there. I don't care. The sacking of Breifne. Okay, he's raiding us hard here, it appears. How much gold does he have? 33. Well, I don't want rivalries right now. I want to hit the Scottish. Raiders are just a reality. Alright, what else can we do here? Can't upgrade that at all. We could upgrade our other holdings, but eventually they're going to go away, so I tend not to. <laughs> Let's see. Prestigious image. Sure, we'll take it. It costs us nothing, but it gives us prestige and the thing that helps the plot. Sure. Uh, you want to negotiate an alliance with us? Yes, our son... You can have an alliance with us for sure. 10 gold. I mean, it's a church. You could take it. But I do want to fight Wessex again for sure. I don't like how they're growing here. 
But I also want to take Alba down more. <laughs> it's just so much we want to do. Let's let's get us some gold first. Uh, Duchy of Neustria, you're fighting again. Against the Duchy of Flanders. Are you attacking? The Neustrian claim on the county of Lille. Uh, he's, he's attacking. Are you losing? Oh, he might just be. There are definitely a lot of hostile troops around. This time we're not going to go. We have other things to do. We are out here raiding our Scottish friends. They need to learn. They need to learn this isn't okay. It will be paid in kind. You come for my stuff, I come for your stuff. You come for some of my stuff, I come for all of your stuff. Just so we're clear. The Irish do not pull punches. Okay, what's this? An army coming. Might be some internal war or whatever. I don't think they're coming to protect us. Uh, protect themselves from us, rather. So it's looking decent. Oh, a bunch of good, good knights. Good commanders, too. So which one first? This one. 21 gold. The Muslim faith now has access to jihads. So they might come for us. Oh, actually, there's a barony of Dursim. Which we could attack for our ally. Help them a little bit. I think we might. Ah, we might. We'll see. We'll wander around a little bit more. Collect some more gold. Collect some more prisoners. Are you worth anything? Wessex is poor. I like that. Let's go ransom these little fools here. Such a pleasant woman. We become friends. Very good. Let's see. Do we have more vassals that we should or would like to be friends with? This guy here likes us a little bit. Less than he should, our dear cousin. So let's befriend our cousin. Oops. Don't want to find the title. Siege this. Ah, no. I don't want to lose troops to sieging. Not for nine gold. Oh, boy. Another son and another daughter. Birgit, Cecilia, and Constantine. We are twins ourselves, so that's kind of cute. Wait, did I skip something here? Oh, yeah, 13 gold. I'll take these for sure. I only really need to worry once Alba personally sends troops. Or one of the dukes we're raiding here. And only if they are even bigger than what we have. A war declared. Northman County on this duchy. So, okay. Uh, we'll call in the French. In defense of this. And the Barcelonians. The Neustrians, I don't think they're going to come. Barcelona has really had the, the rough end of this deal. They are constantly being called in to help. But they never do anything to help them. Or they, well, they never even called us, so. What is a man to do, right? Okay, these are raiders. And we'll fight them as we always have. It's not exactly what we want. We don't want to walk through this army and fight them, but... Well... That's where they kind of popped up for us. Right in our path. We're gonna go back home. Multiple reasons. Enemy is coming. Second reason. Uh, we need to resupply anyway. So might as well drop off our... Our winnings here. And we need to turn them off from raiding. They can't participate in wars. If they're still raiders. So right now they're no longer raiders. Let's move around a little bit. Make sure our army isn't caught out without our ally present. 
And the French are already almost there, so might as well. Looks like they have different plans. So we'll just go... Okay, our, our army is now starving. That is very bad. That is very bad indeed. So let's try and get fight quickly. Luckily, they are... Well, the French, if you could help, maybe. Please. Come on, France. Come in there. Very good. So that's done in a, in a, in a very short... In a very short manner. Done that. And force demands. Thank you. And now we definitely need to bring our troops... Oh, wait. No, no, no. We're already in home territory. We just need to split a little bit. So they can reinforce and take on supplies. Okay. Now they're no longer starving. And then we go... Can we... We can go and take this place here. Let's see what else we have. This cannot go unpunished. Our niece, vassal and friend, is having an affair with our brother, her uncle. The accusations are naught but malice and lies. I don't believe anyone here. Who would have known? Okay, fine. Apparently it was true. <laughs> I don't care. Uh, let's, um, let's pardon our niece, maybe. You are forgiven for your... Crimes against decency. Our troops are taking on supplies. And we want to, of course, wait until that is done. And we can hold court again. Let's hope something better comes out of this holding court this time around. Next one. All right. Same thing we had before, so we're just going to go with, if you sh if you looked at another way, 85% chance it goes well. This time we actually managed, luckily. We Catholics worship God just as the same as the insulars. Leave our Christian brothers to worship. Okay, so we can go with a learning challenge, which we have a lot, and uh, show her the word of St. Finian, and they then convert to our religion. Actually, we should go and convert all our subjects, come to think of it. It's a beautiful day for war, so... Claim... My uncle Deus Goswin currently sits on the throne of Geller. But I am truly... Okay, so... We could fight her war. And... Geller is out down in... Frisia, Netherlands, basically. So we could just start a war against them. But the thing is, I don't actually know... How strong this guy is. 821. You know, might as well. It's a beautiful day for war. So my business here is done. Let's pause. So we have to fight here. And we're fighting for this. And we don't have any holdings on the continent. So we will have to set our troops back together basically fill them fill them back up once they are nice and supplied oh, we can actually supply them both in the same area here that's nice there's enough supply limit then we can send them south to go fight the enemy and we befriend this guy okay so what i want to do is check our vassals for their beliefs and we're looking at this here, if they're insular. Because we would like them all to be insular, uh, Christian. Not Catholic. Alright, looks good. All of our vassal vassals are of the right religion. You can also press R and see the religion. And you can see all this crossed out area that's basically insular territory. We should also go for this holy site there. I think. In the next war against our Scottish neighbors. Oh, France is actually growing a little bit here on the on the island. Oh wait, no. Uh we can't no, no, actually. Oh no 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 we we don't even have to cross the, the ocean. 
I don't know why we're not taking on supplies. Maybe I have the game paused again. Okay, 55. That's enough for me. We can actually attack here. That is very fortunate for us. So moving through enemy territory or not friendly territory. <sighs> Wait a moment. Do I see raiders? I have to, I have to slap the Albans first. Are you coming to raid me? My lad, my boy? Mm-hmm. I thought so. Okay, we first have to slap these guys around. And then we can, then we can go south. Oh, okay. He's being joined or being attacked by raiders? I don't know. He's being joined. But we're still winning, luckily, because of our insane commander advantage. It's crazy. Commander martial skill, plus 32. Like, this guy single-handedly winning all our little wars and battles. Okay, this is not good. It's a lot of death down the way here. 189, 189, 189. Jesus. So Alba might still turn around and try this again. I have to keep an eye on them. Uh, a lover's visitation. Oh, my beloved. I cannot believe to see her feel her. Okay, we... Uh, Get sensual dreams. Stress loss and stress gain. All are better. And we lose 81 stress. I mean, we'll take it. Someone died and left us some stuff. I don't like that necessarily. Let's see. This guy's really good at this job. And he's a powerful vassal. And he wants the job. So very good. Good on him. And uh, we inherited something. What did we inherit that we didn't have before? Chester. Cheshire. Hmm. Who do we give that to? Now we can't give this to our main heir anymore. As we can see, all these titles are going to be lost on succession. So he's going to get the earldom of Cheshire anyhow. So might as well give it to him. Let's find him. Uh, first of all, set him to be also learned focus. Uh, next, we're going to find someone with a little... Less of a harsh age difference. Duchy of Neustria again. Chiefdom of Meath would be okay. And the rest of his county. So let's see if there's any good. Oh, very good. An Amazonian lass. Chiefdom of something. We'll take that. Just so we get some good blood in here. Let's wait for this to be finished. Excellent. And now we grant him this title so it's out of our hair. There we go. So there's a Frisian army all of a sudden. Which is attacking what we are supposed to be attacking. And there's more troops coming. So we are going to attack them. Because right now we have the advantage as they just landed. So we might even just eradicate them. Look at this. Command advantages. Hmm. So this army was completely destroyed, and we are sitting on a on a difficult siege now. But I don't want anyone else to take this place from us, because that would potentially throw some sticks and stones in this path here. We'll have to see. Okay, now we speed it up again, because this siege is going to take for absolutely ever. Let's see. Firm hand, prestige per dread, sway scheme power, 20, 30%. Doesn't really matter. Either way is fine. We go for it. Oof. That siege just got a big jump there. I mean, we're talking months here. It shall be undone. What's going on? Let's come to the lawless fugitive has taken. Okay. So the lady we're fighting 
for right now is the lawless fugitive. Oh no, that's someone else. Uh, sure, you can have him back. You're my ally. I don't care. You can have the bourbon man. I should help where I can. Yeah, okay. I mean, it's not my money really anyway that I'm spending here. So he could be remaining patient, which we all as well, which isn't a bad thing. Um, or we could push him into something else, but that stresses us out. So he just remains patient, basically. Okay, 43% in this war now. Our troops are very diminished, though. It's a bit of a problem. Our wife is pregnant once more. Mm. No, it's fine. Let, it, let her go for intrigue. So our ally down there is up to 99%. If we finish this siege, then they win. But they're probably going to win either way. Very good. So all we have left is to go down and fight here, basically. So we do have, cr have to cross the water. We have 94... Oh! Okay, that's just raiders. We'll live with it. A little Jordan. There we go. And we'll just speed along. Again, I never suggest you do this. Speeding up the game is a very, very bad idea. Things happen outside of your control very quickly, very often. Uh, so the, the war here is invalidated. So we can't stand down our troops. Shame. Let's see. Inspiring rule. Monthly prestige per powerful vassal on the council. Plus 4%. We don't have a lot of those on the council. So that's not a lot of prestige income. But that's fine. Alright. We need to fight our neighbors again. Galair is sitting around there mocking us. I don't mind. We need to take down Alba. Invade the kingdom. The kingdom of Alba. Would it be lovely? Would it be lovely? How do you have the kingdom of Norgar? <sighs> Could subjugate him. How would that work? Uh, we get that kingdom title. We would also lose it in succession again. How far away are we from founding the empire? Let's check that first. We are 49. I don't know exactly how much he holds. Can we see that? How much is his realm? How big is his realm? Can we see that here somewhere? How much, how many realms are in this? Can we see this? I don't think we can. Which is a bit of a shame because that would be really important information to have. That way we could make a little bit of more of an informed decision. Right now, as it stands, uh, we're losing <clears throat> the Kingdom of Wales in succession. And a bunch of counties, so that's fine. So if we push for Alba, how old are we? 41. We, we still have time. Subjugating Alba would push us quite ahead. I mean, we can count manually, you know. Uh, let's destroy this. The Potsherd gives us a little bit of money. And we can't equip it anyway. We have too much stuff as it is. All right, let's, let's do a quick count here. Everything that is yellow up there. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So we would be gaining twenty, twenty counties. And we have 49. So that would mean we need six more to create that. Or 
We might not need to create the Empire of Britannia. We might not need to do that. We might not need to do that. We could just... At least one of these. Hold three or more kingdoms. Realm size of Ireland is 80. Okay, no. I think Britannia is actually more achievable than all these. Let's see. So they're weaker. Maybe... Hmm. Is there a duchy with six... No, there isn't. But we could get four here and two there. That would put us on the six. Okay, let's check if France is at war right now with someone. Yes, they are. So France, we can't really call in. So let's do things that we can do without calling in France. For example, taking a good chunk out of Wessex again. But let's see what is the biggest bit anyway. This is four. This is one, two, three, four, five. So Esse, uh, East Sax. And this, okay, so East Sax it is. That's uh, five ones. We can still call in the Bar Barcelonians. So we needn't necessarily have all the troops that we need for this ourselves. We still got this child. So we start with plus 25% because we still have his child imprisoned. Uh, let's call in Neustria. He can help us now. We helped him. And call in this guy as well. France, we're not going to call in. And we'll raise all our troops here in the south. And then we march straight up to the capital. And hope our allies come quick. Okay, we're not going to march straight up to the capital. We're going to take the Barony of Schertzee first. I couldn't be more thankful. Thank you. Our friend is supporting our war effort. It's so kind of you. So an enemy ally joins the war. Doesn't matter to us. One bit. So these troops are probably somewhere there. They might come and attack. Oh, no. There they are. He's going to siege us again. Fine. So we'll take something that's completely irrelevant to the war. He will take something that is not irrelevant, but also super important. So let's push the speed here ahead because we're just looking at sieging armies again. Which is a little bit of a slow business at this age. He breached walls already, so his is going to progress much faster than ours. Brooding fiends, something about plotting against our queen. Oh no, what a shame. You're a good daughter, thank you. She loves us unconditionally. So we're going to wait for our ally to finish his siege there. Reason being, if we start moving before he finishes his siege, he's going to start moving without ever finishing his siege. Um... Yeah, and we're not going to move off here either because our ally is doing quite well. Do we want him to be ambitious? He's a murderer. He's our son and heir, a murderer. How are you a murderer? Who have you killed? Okay, you have killed two people already? <laughs> oh my god. Um, do we want him to be ambitious? No, I'd rather have him be zealous. Zealous is nicer for piety. Ambitious is pretty good, but the stress gain is super high. And his opinion of... Ah, you know what? Let him be ambitious. He's already killing people left and right to achieve what he wants. So our ally is going to siege stuff around us right now. Whereas our enemy is sieging stuff up north. But I'm hoping taking his capital will give us the best outcome. Our wife has died in childbirth and our son was sadly stillborn. So let's slow this down. We need to get married again. 
And what you could do is go for something like sum of all skills. So you get the very best uh, match in terms of skills. We could also just get this genius lady. She is a lowborn, so that's not super ideal. She's also not going to give us any, any more children, which could be good. Like, we have a lot of children already. I don't want the realm to splinter even more. So... I think... Maybe we go with Uta von Frontenhausen. A little Bavarian lass with a lot of diplomacy and a lot of knowledge. Like, we, we have a lot of stuff in common and she's pretty. So... She's also not lowborn. Doesn't give us an alliance. Costs us some prestige, but... Medium chance of children. So it's not zero chance of children. So... Yeah, we'll go that. We'll go that way. That's fine. And now we speed up again because of the sieges. <laughs> again, don't do this unless you know what you're doing. Uh, we gain generous liege. Times of crisis. Half an hour. Can I afford such a risk? Loyalty of fear. Uh, no. I will win the unwavering loyalty. Vassal taxes goes down. Direct vassal opinion plus 15. That's pretty strong. We lose a bit of money, but who cares? Okay, we're almost done here finally. Yeah. So now we just go back north and re siege everything that he took from us. <laughs> oh. Okay, that takes forever. He made it look much easier. We need to keep an eye on this. Oh, we have a new heir! Oh no! What? How did he die? There were so many possibilities. A whole life to live. Maybe you would have had children of your own one day. But now none of these things will ever come to be. How did he die? He died from stress. At 12. Okay. Alright. Who, who got this? His uh, brother and new heir got it. Okay. And my new heir got it. Okay. He's pensive. He's a thinker. Let's speed along again. And there we go. We won. Even though he had a lot of held territory at home on our end, we managed to break a good chunk out of him. So. Now we've taken care of this. Uh, we need to... Okay, there's London. London actually isn't... I mean, it isn't too bad, but it has a special building slot, which not everything has. So we might actually move our capital here. Let's do that. Let's move our capital here. Just to really rub it in. Some buildings in the Earldom of Leinster will become inactive. Potentially, yeah, that's fine. Our capital is London now, so no longer here. This means we probably lose some income and stuff. Let's uh, get our Marshal on increasing control here a little bit. And Castle 1. So are we feudal now? Nope, we're still tribal. We just have castles. I don't even know if I'm allowed to hold castles. So we're over a domain limit of two. Let's see. So the Duchy of East Sex. 250 gold to usurp. We'll do it. Uh, that's mine now. And the Duchy of Leinster. We're gonna give to a different to a different child here. So you are going to get the Duchy of Leinster anyway. Ah, oh, no, no, no. We're going to wait a little bit. Uh, we, we got other titles to give away. 492. We need to be a little bit careful with what we give away because we are getting a lot of troops out of our own holdings still. Oh, welcome. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Good evening. How are you doing? Um, so I think we're going to give Port Lerge away. It gives us a lot of income, though. I think we can deal with less levy. So Gabrain goes away. And maybe Dorn Athiar as well. Need to get rid of them. So he gets that. He's inheriting anyway. 
<laughs> All right. You are getting into something good, I'd say. Uh, let, me, let me bring up Twitch chat here. I think that works, yeah. Uh, have have you ever played anything like it? Uh, Crusader Kings 2 or Crusader Kings 1 even? I never actually played that. I only played 2 and 3. Because I must say, I don't think there is a game out there that actually compares properly. Even Oropony with Others 4, which is probably the closest. Everything else is just kind of different. Uh, this, is, this is really good. I'm excited for you to start this, really. I want more people to play this. It's, it's one of the best games out there. Played all other Paradox games. You have 1,600 hours on Hearts of Iron and 900 EU4. Your 900 in EU4 are going to do you well. Hearts of Iron plays entirely different. I haven't played that much. Uh, but boy, is that a different beast altogether. <laughs> um, let's see. So who does get... Who gets that? Oh, he gets all this. So what are you entitled to? Leinster? <sighs> Fine, I get you the whole thing then. I don't want to... <laughs> But we kind of have to. Ah, fine. He gets everything. That's fine. He can he can have the whole thing. It's not ideal, but it's okay. <clears throat> one thousand six hundred. Is it Hearts of Iron four, or uh, or a different one? Oh, great! Our our wife is pregnant. I didn't think that would happen. Okay, we can form found a holy order. We're not gonna do that because it costs us a bunch and it doesn't give us all that much. For now, I played in Ireland, got from the kingdom, uh, got to form the kingdom and conquer Scotland, but then I got destroyed by the French and the English and the Norwegian. All right, okay. Very good. I played Hearts of Iron 4 a little bit when it came out, but it's too different for me from the other Paradox games, especially Crusader Kings, that I didn't stick with it long. I like the long time periods, you know, starting really early and then playing for hundreds of years and the dynastic thing. In Crusader Kings 3 is absolutely a different thing. So different from all the others, including Europa Universalis 4. I think it's the closest. Um, but the way all this here works is just so cool. I love it. The diplomacy alone. The diplomacy in Crusader Kings is to me the best diplomacy in any of these games ever. Uh, literally. Nothing comes close. The rules around it are so, so good. They're so fun. So in our playthrough here right now, France does have a bit. Uh, England is destroyed. We didn't do it. And we're currently chipping away at everything. And we want to form the Empire of Britannia. So the next goal is to take on the whole kingdom of Alba. And then we only really need to take Cornwall. And we should have enough to form the Empire of Britannia. Uh, that's basically our goal. That's what we're going for here. Uh, we right-click this. I don't care about it. Let's go away with that. But, of course, uh, oh, we can negotiate some alliance. Let's see. Anything good? Mainly inside our realm. Let's go with our sons, at least. They should have alliances with us. Inside alliances only matter, really, for defending against um, uprisings. But it is worthwhile to do, I think. All right, we can station a manage arms regiment. Yeah, we lost a bunch uh, of places to put these people, didn't we? Let's put... Why do I have two pike regiments? I inherited that somewhere, I bet. Okay, well, fine. Let's put them somewhere. Oh, boy, these places aren't good at all. <laughs> Where do I recommend you play next? Honestly, I started this playthrough specifically because Ireland is a starter island. Um, over on my YouTube, I have a bunch of playlists where I just try and teach the game. So I play, I explain the things I'm, I'm doing while I'm doing them and why I'm doing them. And personally, I think almost I was recently shown a, a start which I wouldn't take uh, if I had a choice not to. Um, but almost all starts are kind of fine. Personally, I do like somewhere here. Right in 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 Eastern Europe, kind of it's it's a decent enough balance between powerful, between having enough piecemeal kingdoms that you can still expand, and your biggest threat is really the hordes and the Byzantine Empire. 
uh, the the Western Europeans are just constantly at war with each other and they're breaking apart all the time, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, but I, I think a really fun start, though it's difficult in a, in one way, is India. So anywhere in India is really, really fun. I, I had one playthrough of it and I really enjoyed that. I might do another one eventually. The only issue I have with playing in different cultures that aren't Western, because, well, <laughs> that's where I'm from, uh, is the names of these. So a county isn't a county, it's a Tikana. Uh, kingdom is, well, Maharaja, I think that is something we can also get together. But then you have a Mahas Manta. Uh, the thing is, on the map it's fine, but if you have an event popping up where it's like, uh, get the title or give the title of something, something, something. I can never remember what these things are. I think that's the greatest challenge playing out here, but it's really, really fun. And India is pretty darn self-contained. Like, until you get all of India, uh, you basically have no problems with anyone. I've never played over here. Maybe that's also fun. Um, Golden Horde can also be fun. But then again, if I go by that, everything can be fun. <laughs> um, so, yeah, may maybe check out India. If, if you're up for a little more of an exotic adventure down there. I think that would be fine. Otherwise, right here somewhere. We started, the last playthrough we did was with uh, here, the county of Gamer. Well, now, one friend and a random person on the internet that you just saw for the first time today has told you to go to India. I think you might want to take it. <laughs> but do be careful. It's it's a tough, it's, it's a tough place there. Uh, I don't think it's an easy start at all. Uh, people here are pretty aggressive and they have a lot of troops and everything. So you you need to be on your toes. On your absolute tippy toes. Alright, let's see. Our troops, I want to replenish those a little bit more before we start. So we are going to go and train our commanders while we wait for a little while. Over here, Alba is... Wait. Okay, these are all these alliances pouring in now. Alba is at war with someone. Attacking... Oh, very good. So Alba is attacking Galer to take this. Well, they, to take that. So if they win that and we take Alba after, then we have even more. <laughs> That's pretty good. I remember starting playing, but seeing that I have no claims and ended up quitting out of boredom. Ah, all right. Okay, so I think that's also a reason why Ireland is such a good start. Because uh, you don't need claims. You can just conquer as a tribe. So that's that's pretty good. But... As far as early claims go, uh, let's go with firm hand here. Some prestige per dread. I don't think we have any dread. No, we don't. Uh, as far as claims go in a feudal society, um, they are, I think, fairly affordable and they go really quick. Compared to Crusader Kings 2, the fabricate claim thing is really, really quick. And it's affordable early on. You might have to hoard all your money <laughs> to get the first claim. But uh, generally, that's what you really kind of need to go for. Yeah, maybe Eastern Europe for a second and India for a third. Yeah, yeah, might be a good idea for sure. Like we we built from that one county. We built uh, the, the Empire of Carpathia and we spanned basically all of that. All of this was ours. Including Italy. Wasn't bad. Just we had a little bit of a bug. We created our own religion and uh, the Crusades kept triggering. But um, since we were an offshoot of Christianity, the Crusades weren't actually finishing. So they, they would win the Crusade, but the Crusaders wouldn't get anything. They would lose the Crusade, no one would get anything. So we kind of had to stop there. I, I was super annoyed with those Crusades constantly popping up. Uh, yeah, he's they're not going to go for that. <clears throat> I think so you can see uh, whether or not someone has a claim before you go places. Oh no, the Earldom of Middlesex has bandits. <laughs> oh no. County corruption. We have such little control here. Zero. Oh boy. Uh, let's maybe also push for culture. Not for acceptance, but promote our culture here. 
Let's change the middle sections to Irish. Let's go. We have some development here already. Maybe do, do we have more here? We built this a while, so 18 development. Uh, as opposed to 8 development here in London. Ah, uh, well. Yeah, how do we go from travel to feudal? Very good question. Uh, first of all, we do this little patrol here for perfectly fine. Kingdom of Moravia. Um, you have to do the following. You have to go to your realm place here and you have to get uh, tribal authority 4. It says down right here. Tribal rulers. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Now, where does it say? Independent tribal rulers, which we are, may settle becoming feudal or clan. So we can either become a clan or we become feudal after we settle. We might actually go for clan. I think going from tribal to clan as Irish has something. It has something. I like it. How long will this take? Let me check this. Seven years to con convert the British to Irish. Do we take it? I think we take it. I do like pushing for development more, but it's okay at the moment. Murder halls and priest halls. Let's see. Secret escape passages. Eh, I'm a simple man. A hidden escape passage will do. 50 gold, we'll spend it. Since we can raid, it's still fine. What's the difference between clan and feudal? Moravia calls us into a war. Sure. I'm not going to do anything about that. How am I even get there? Nah, it's crazy. Um, that's a very good question. So clan you would generally find down here. Um, and a clan government has viziers. They, they just reworked it in the last big patch where they uh, released the, the whole Persia thing. So honestly, I don't even know how exactly clans play right now. They have some different court positions like viziers um so i don't know i don't even know if we can settle for clan or if we have to be tribal up here uh feudal up here i really really don't know but generally it plays more or less the same it just has a few different situations like they have this whole maybe i can see that let me show you maybe i can see that so if we click on yes another daughter little elizabeth yeah, so if we click on this, this is a clan specific thing, I think. This is, um, so your clan has a house unity thing going on, and it goes up and down, and depending on what you have, you have certain bonuses or malice. So if, you're, if your house is very harmonious, for example, Casa's belly costs you plus 30%, but dread decays very slowly, uh, house vassals are, are less likely to create factions, which is, I think is really great. Um... So that could be really fun. On the other hand, like these are currently very competitive in their house. So you get all these uh, variations here. Rulers may use invasion casa spelly every 10 years. That's crazy strong. Invasion every 10 years? That's crazy. That's insane. But your house vassal is also more likely to create clay mount functions against you. Um, you know, so that's the new that's the new mechanic that they introduced with one of the last big patches you you only have that in clan um speaking of which where was that <laughs> they also introduced like a tax type thing which only really matters for clans so if you have a clan vassal then you have to create like tax areas or something is really weird <laughs> but i don't think i can see it right now let's hold some court But overall, I think it's more or less like feudal. Just with some extra flavor thrown in there. First petitioner, please. Let's... What do you want? I caught Herveld here in the process of sending sensitive information to foreign spies in Frisia. Okay. Is he good? Uh, I'll forgive him once. Gives us a strong hook. Um, the, yes, the Persian DLC, you might not even need. It was coming with a free update. So I'm not quite sure which exactly is part of the free update and which exactly is part of the DLC. Stick with not buying the DLC, but you're a Paradox uh, customer. So I don't have to tell you DLC on sale or never, basically. Unless you're really into that particular game. 
and you play like me, Crusader Kings is a no-brainer. I always buy the DLC because I love the series. I I actually like the monetization model. Let's be honest. Um, I'd rather, I much rather pay for full content, even if it's small, every now and again. So per year, I, I spend maybe 50 bucks on Crusader Kings um, as opposed to these horrible, horrible, horrible uh, prices and customization stuff with like season pass and stuff. Oh, you're from Argentina. Can someone gift that to you still? Or are you completely locked out? I'm so sorry. I mean, that's 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 not the thing I'm sorry about there, but I don't know. <laughs> I didn't even know that was possible, that he can be completely locked out from buying anything because of where you live. That's crazy. Let's see. Um, my lord is trying his... Someone is seducing your wife? I will not tolerate adulterers. Um, is there no proof? Give me proof. I don't do anything weird. What a great idea. Yeah, sure. So language of women, I really like this. Uh, language of women is actually pretty historically accurate because women were often the only ones who could read and write. They actually did have like a very early form of stenography. So that's pretty cool. Um, absolutely for it. Let's go. So women writing and men writing was different. Men writing was kind of rare as it was, but women and men wrote differently as well. So that was really cool. We're not, but they changed the payment works due to hyperinflation, and now we must buy in dollars instead of pesos, plus 155% state tax. My god. Holy heck. I hope you're getting through uh, most of your days properly, sensibly, without any big stress. That sounds really, really difficult to deal with, honestly. Alright, I think we're almost full up. Oh, no, we're not. <laughs> what are your armies like? What do you have? Light footmen, bowmen, light horsemen. Oh, we have a lot of light horsemen. But I have a lot of pikes, so that doesn't help him. Let's see. We have some light footmen. We have some heavy arm. He doesn't have pike. I think we can increase this a little bit more. And maybe get some more pike. This regiment is better. Lots of iron 4, you bought for the equivalent of $2. <laughs> but now you're going to pay $20. 50 Oh my god. Okay, that's, that's crazy. Regional pricing is insane. Okay, so it's Alba winning here. 81%. They, they, they're close to winning, but I don't think they can actually win a direct confrontation in battle. So you know what? I mean, look at that. They're gonna... Oh no, we were defeated in Great Moravia. Why can't I look at this battle? Let me look at this battle. I wanna see. Oh, oh, oh. A little peasant uprising on top of everything else. Oh, you actually won. 100%. Well done, you. All right. Time to subjugate him. So we take all of that at once. 750. We can do it once per lifetime. Sadly, Alba lost a little bit, so this might not actually work out exactly how I want it to be. And this time everyone comes in. Frankia... Wait, is Frankia already an emperor? Oh yeah! Frankia is an emperor already. That's crazy. That's very early. So how do you deal with, with this high inflation, like, day to day? All I know about high inflation like that is from history. Weimar Republic stuff, you know? All that. Luckily, I haven't experienced it yet. So what exactly are we sieging here? Oh no, that's not us. We're standing atop of something that's sieging there. Uh, 
Now, we have the much, much better commander, so we should be able to win this. Let's go fight it. Go to buy before 8 in the morning because prices increase at 9. Really? Oh my god. It's insane. I'm so sorry. Sometimes I feel like when I live here and I, I complain about my life and I feel like, okay, I'm not getting anywhere. Things are kind of stuck, kind of stale. <laughs> uh, you're welcome for the history facts. Thank you so much for logging in for five minutes to actually write that to me. Go look it up. It's really interesting. Um, the TV show The Last Kingdom actually had a had a bit on that, I think. That was also really interesting. And after dollarization in Steam, that happened like months, one month ago. I'm not buying anything else. Yeah, I get that. I get that. You know what, what I might do? You know what I might do? Come Christmas, I'm going to have a stream. And I'm going to give away DLC for Crusader Kings 3. How does that sound? And then you, then you come back. And you get that. Sound good? Like, can I? Is is that possible? <laughs> can I do that? No, I think I'm gonna write that down. Uh, I'm gonna find something to write on. Let me see if I can find something to write on. Like, what? Why not? I mean, there's so few people watching this regularly, so your chances of getting it are super high. I would say. You can't gift from Argentina to the US. Okay, I'm not in the US. I'm in Europe. I'm in Germany. So, um, I hope that works still. It's Christmas time. And there's going to be sale. <laughs> so, you know, it works out. Um, CK3. Give away on... Christmas or around Christmas around Christmas I'm sure I think I might do the base game and one or two DLC depending on the price I'll, I'll have to see I'll put you want me to come to your war uh huh no I'll accept, but I'd never come. <laughs> That's how we roll out here. Oh, we seized a prized chess piece, which is almost done and only gives some renown. Uh, we might we might want to keep it because 3% renown is actually pretty good. And renown is very powerful, so we want that. That wasn't enough. Okay, let's siege some more stuff around here. Wait, where is he going? Where is he going? Where are you going? Can we land on top of you out of accident, possibly? Oh, yeah. What unfortunate circumstances for him to end up right there underneath us. Such a shame. All right. We're, we're full on the war score for battle. War score. Can't, can't fight him more. Can't get more out of that. Let's speed this up because sieges are slow now, again, as they are at this point in time. Our ally is hunting the enemy. Someone is fornicating. Unacceptable stuff. Our allies are defeating the enemy, trying to take back their capital. Big shame. Defeat in the war we never joined. Also big shame. Our allies are still fighting our enemy. Quite... Effectively, and there we go. So, subjugation is done. So, all of this is now Ireland. <laughs> oh, God. Um, very good. Let's check. Oh, we have... S no, we don't have so many. It's just... Okay. So, this thing here, plus three renown. Mm. Actually, it's not that great. Let's destroy it. We'll take the money instead. Thanks. 
Uh, we'll disband our armies. And we'll check right away. We have 37, uh, 73 out of 75 we need. So we just take Cornwall with a duchy conquering. And then we can form the Empire of Britannia. Let's not raise our troops right next to the border. Because if we do that, he might just walk on us while we are raising our troops. Let's check how many troops he has. 1,500, so it's fine. We can absolutely defeat him with all our troops. We don't need an ally here. Maybe for better and quicker sieges. We need to nominate a successor for the election of title heir. In, in Alba. That's an elective thing. We'll just nominate our player Aaron's son, of course. Who else would we nominate? Elective. Ugh, how horrible. Okay, our enemy was joined by an ally. That pushes them up a little bit. In terms of troop power. But it doesn't matter. We're just gonna go for his stuff right there. Because he has to defend. There's, there's nothing he can do. He has to defend. If he doesn't defend, he's going to lose. Let's put our guy to managing our army. We're integrating the title. Still 40 years left. I mean, that's almost nothing, right? Let's combine these troops. If they let us, and they do. So this button is pretty cool. We don't really use it all that often. We could just station as many as we need to keep the siege running. The problem is that might be too few to sustain it. So if people die during the siege, you know, that could be a problem. I can't really call more allies in here because I don't have the prestige. So we'll have to do this our own. But we can. Praetorian Guard, monthly prestige per night plus 1%. Might be something in there. This will take forever. He will siege us down in the meantime. So let's just speed this up again. And have a little watch on the siege going. Is it best to put your steward to improve development or raise taxes? <laughs> Personally, at this stage, if we raise taxes, we get plus 10%. So plus 10% out of 3.2 is, what, 0 0.3? That's not a lot. Personally, I increase development. Right now, we are changing the culture here. So it fits us. Oh, I hate this. We'll just click that and see what happens. I don't care. Uh, you want the Earldom of Essex? No. Essex belongs to me. No. It's mine. Go away. Maybe we can catch someone cool in this siege here. Well, we got an artifact out of it. Not bad. There's a lot of places here. So I think uh, improving development, especially if you start with an early start, development will compound because it directly increases how much taxes you get out of your main holding. Your main holding will be one of the most important things you earn money from and anything really. Oh God, our troops are starving. But we've done it. Disband all, disband all, slow this down as heck, and now, and now, for my next magic trick, we're gonna found the Empire of Britannia. 350 gold it costs us, 500 prestige it gives us, and we are now a mighty high king. Why is this Alba? This is not supposed to be Alba. Ah, fine. Also, when giving land to a vassal, is it better to give it to a family member or just some random dude that has high relations? Right, great question. Great, really great question. So, there are many schools of thought on that one, I must say. Many, many schools of thought. Um, personally, I think... is a big, it depends... Family has the problem if they have if they have holding, um, they might come for your stuff. They might try and kill you. They might try and get your things some other way. 
Um, so, if you don't have direct heirs, if you don't have children, then maybe give it to someone else. If you do have children, give it to your children. Otherwise, in terms of who you to, to give it to and who to not give it to, try and avoid uh, having having vassals that have um, ambitious as a trait. You'd, you'd want and prefer those that have content, content or even loyal. Um, those are pretty decent. Everything else is a bit of a problem. So now we're the dragons. Isn't that cool? Um... Yeah, I think that, I hope that answered your question. Did it? Let's see, is this good? Plus 0 0.4. I mean, it's better than this. No, it's better than this. So this we unequip and we put in the wolf fangs. Really have to repair all this stuff as well. Let's go. Let's spend a bunch on our stuff here. We don't want it to be destroyed. This here we destroy. Get us some money back. To reinvest in repairing our stuff. So that was expensive. <laughs> Wouldn't give land to my son making things worse when your character dies. Now, depending on your succession type, and you start out with what we have generally, confederation partition uh, or confederate partition. Um, if you have only one child, you can give them all their titles, all the titles you want. And they are going to get all the titles that they have when you die because they already have them. Um, if we look at what we have right now, the um, the titles are kind of going away. So the Kingdom of Ireland, uh, this kid is going to get. Whereas this kid potentially will be voted King of, uh, King of Scotland, our, our nephew and vassal. I don't know. And uh, this kid here is just going to inherit the empire and uh, a few holdings that we have around here. So, these guys, they're going to get stuff anyway. Might as well give it to them. And deal with it early. Try and learn how to deal with it early. That's kind of how I hold it. So, for example, this, this, these two are going to go away anyway. Right now, I'm above my holding limit. So, I might as well give him these. These are pretty good. These are pretty important to me. Um, but being an emperor right now, this helps us anyway. Like, our domain isn't giving us much as it stands. So, might as well give him, uh, Droim Ather. That's perfectly fine. So, he can have that. I'm not gonna give him, uh, Ireland y just yet. He can get that title once I'm dead. <laughs> but until then. So, and we keep this place here, the Duchy of Cromwell. We're not gonna create that yet. We're gonna keep it as it is. Let's see, do we have some... Did I answer your question? Was that coherent to you? If so, very good. If not, I'll, I can try again to explain it better. <laughs> Speaking of stuff, so we can go for absolute tribal authority now. We'll, we'll do that because I want to see... Oh god, it costs us 737 uh, prestige. All of our prestige, basically. Let's see, I must put a stop to this, whatever is budding between them. I don't know. High Queen Uta. What is going on here? These two might become best friends and more than that. Whatever their relationship might be, I'll stay out of it. That's my that's my opinion here. I'm not I'm not meddling. My wife can have friends. I'm not some weirdo who 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 is weird about that. So okay, let's see. Can we can, how do how do we become how do we become feudal now? So we're still tribal. We have this now. Is that like a decision? Decision. Rites of passage. Reclaim Britannia. Can't do that yet. Adopt feudal ways. Ah, we're missing a little bit of prestige, but here we can do it now. So let's go on a hunt and get that prestige. And where do we go? We're going to go somewhere close here in Amptil. And I don't want to... I want prestige, yes. 
I don't care about the success so much. Let's get our champion in here. Costs us a little bit more, but that's fine. Everything else is fine as well. Maybe not mercenary guards. That's a lot of money for nothing. Let's get cultural ambassador. Ah, that's fine. We don't need anything here. Let's start our hunt. Can't wait. And what's our hunt goal? Recreation. Slay the beast. Nah, let's try and befriend someone. Maybe. A vassal and champion. Okay, these guys need, need friendship. These guys need friendship in their life. Okay, let's go. And now we could go and take Vesex. Make them our vassal. Not just yet, but eventually. Okay, he will be master of the hunt. Perfectly fine, I don't care. Do we have enough of prestige yet? We haven't gotten any prestige. What are we getting there? Oh, we got... Oh, we got a throne! Oh. Stone of Scone. Why Stone of Scone? What does that mean? So this one is clearly better. Well, less renowned, but courtier and guest opinion plus 14. Spearman maintenance minus 5%, which is good because we have a lot of spear. Gaelic opinion, Scots opinion, court grandeur. That's great. Oh, it's a stone throne. The scone of stone. Hey, we have another Excalibur. Look at that. We have two of these now. We are really, really good at this, aren't we? <laughs> and the fragment of the true cross and we don't have it displayed? Are we silly? Learning per level of devotion plus one. That's pretty big, actually. Um, domain tax is same faith. Also good. Court grandeur bonus plus four. Piety plus 0 0.8. That's, that's a lot. So this is a fragment of the true cross. We have two Excalibur. Maybe we replace one with uh, the Masterwork Goblet. No, actually. Actually, these are these are these are quite a bit better than this. So we just destroy that. Take the money. Fine by me. Heck yes. Very enjoyable stuff happening there. That's very, very good. So I think I want this title here. Because, so that's something you need to keep in mind. The best way to build your own strength is have a have a county which has a lot of baronies. We don't have that at the moment. Uh, so we need to build another city before we can do anything else in this. Sadly. But we could have two keeps right here. So that's pretty good. We just have to get it. Kind of. So. Okay, dangerous faction. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I figure. Okay, so we have a bunch of people who are really unhappy about their life right now. <laughs> who do you belong to? Okay, you are my direct vassals. Nothing to be done about that. Mercia. Okay. Let's rearrange our council, maybe. So this guy is no longer a strong vassal. She is, though. She might jump out of the faction if we put her in the, in, in the driver's seat here. So we'll do that. And we don't need to integrate titles anymore because now that we have the Empire of Britannia, everything here is our du jour country. So that's pretty good. Let's let's go for domestic affairs. I lose a bunch of prestige, which is kind of bad. But it's okay right now. We need more friendship at home, really. So let's uh, replace our lad here. If we have someone who's halfway good and a strong vassal, we do not. What are you guys even good at? Okay, you're you're decent spy masters, so we can do that. Can replace him. So he's a little better, but he hates us more than he, so this guy might drop out of his faction more likely than the other one. And we can go and demand some conversion. We should absolutely do that. Demand all the conversions that we can because that increases their overall opinion eventually. Okay. 
So 15 months, that's, that's not a lot. Let's demand some conversions around here. Can't. Can't. They will lose some opinion, but overall, their opinion is going to go up. Okay, she doesn't want to do that. He does. She does. He does. They do. Let's see. We could imprison her. Will not accept. It's tyranny. Okay, they're known criminal, but I can't imprison them. Fine. Let's go and sway some people here that have a chance of dropping out. So swaying costs us what? Sometime, 12 months. We might sway her out of this faction. Like, she's our best bet to get her out of that place. So we go for swaying there. We we do have a swaying bonus, I think, from our uh, diplomacy tree here somewhere over there. Flatterer. No, befriend scheme power. Wait. Mm, there was something with sway, wasn't there? Wait, how long is it going to take to befriend her compared to swaying her? Ah, okay, she dropped out of the faction. Very good. So next guy is this. Befriend will take us... Where does it say? 11 months. So we might befriend him and kick him out of the faction. They have 30 months to come around. So maybe we can stop this civil war right in the tracks by making another friend. Aren't we trying to befriend someone on this hunt anyway? I think so. It's pretty good. Honestly, London might not even be the best place to be here. Okay, can we still not take the decision to adopt feudal wills? A 70% of military and civic tribal area innovations. Okay, we're still kind of blocked from that. But we're close. We're close to Onage. Because we're also being influenced on it. So 22 months. So that's nice. Let's get out of here. Success chance. Uh, let's get out there. So this will take a little bit. Uh... I don't really care about these. So we'll just go with... Get out of my wood. <laughs> Get out of my swamp. Nothing better than a good hunt. Are you a hunter, my lad? Yes, so nothing better than a good hunt. We could go uh, to tame and fly raptors to truly live. We could go for that. He is a V-nature though, so he doesn't really care about that so much. So we'll go with, there's nothing better than a hunt. That he might like, because he's a hunter. I think I want him over. So he hates us 15 less now. We proceed by stealth. Let's try and surprise that stag. Okay, someone shot us with an arrow. We could try and find out who it was, or we just live with someone being not careful. We'll go with someone not being careful. We cannot win them all. Our hunt fails. Shame. Let us leave this adventure behind for now. Okay, we didn't befriend anyone. But the faction is weak now. Everyone who was keeping this faction alive. They are kind of done with it. So now we just need to work toward more innovation. So, something we can do, and I think we're gonna do that as well. Um, we're gonna wait for this perk point here. Offer vassalization acceptance plus 20. Aw, oh, look at our daughter. Intricate web weaver. Let's marry them. Very good. I really didn't look at that properly. 
Goodbye, my dear daughter. She's probably at a different court now, isn't she? Yeah. Well. Um. Oh, the Northmen are coming again. Good stuff. You wanna take this again? Sure. I would like Frankia in this, please. And Great Moravia as well. How about you come here? But I don't think we actually need them. We, we should be fine by ourselves. At this point. We have a lot of troops. And we'll fight them off as we have always done. Greatly looking forward to the Northmen raids being over. But we've done our empire. And I think... That's always... I like it. I'm, I'm always happy when I first get my empire title going. Always a nice moment. So we have some more unstationed troops here, which we can't station, of course, right now. So we go for true ruler, get the subjugation, vassalization, acceptance up. And now we're going to go switch over to learning. And what we want to do is go for scholar. And we want to have scientific here. We can also go for um, development growth. Why not? So we pick that. We could go for health focus, but instead we're going to go here. So this is not ideal, but it's going to work. So we're going to get our lifestyle in there, and then we can push for more innovations quicker. Because we need that to adopt feudal, which we should do eventually, or soon enough anyway. And now these guys are not very willing to become our vassal. It's very, very surprising. Okay, enemies landing there. We immediately go for that. Because he's going to have the recently landed negative modifier. Even though we're crossing a river and stuff. He might even go into hills or something. And now we caught him. And our ally is coming in anyway. So this is this is a no-brainer. And the invading armies luckily often are just kind of peasantry. So defeating them early on is really not that much of a problem. And there we go. That's... You do need allies. For sure. Or you need to have a unit composition that fights heavy infantry and light infantry skirmishes. That's what you need to do. I don't want to found a holy order. Go away. Let's check our religion, actually. We don't have Canterbury. And we we don't have any of our... Oh, wait. No, we do have it. It's just not under our control. You convert right away. And I think we're going to go for Kent next. What can we do with you? Nothing much. We could invade the kingdom. The kingdom of Wessex or the kingdom of England. Could also push some claims, but no one has anything good. So I think we're just going to go for in invading. Once we have the thousand prestige ready. The subject deserves as much study as I can afford. Yeah, befriend gains studying interests. Very good. Okay, so... Blessed be God. We're still sitting here. We're still raiders. We can still raid. So we're going to go do that. We're going to raid Essex. Uh, Wessex. We are Essex. So we'll raise all here. Our whole army. All 7,000 of them. And we're going to go raid our neighbor. Because we have deep pockets. Um, when you get attacked, can you put demands like in other Paradox games? Uh... No. You can't put demands while you're being attacked. That's correct. We became friends. Look at that. Let's check this faction nonsense here. You also need to be a friend, don't you? Um, what you can do is at the end of it, if you win, you can demand a hostage. That is a fairly new mechanic. Um, that is something you definitely can do. Let's see what's out here. Uh, 26, 24, 14. Let's cut off these enemy raiders here. These guys. Let's cut them off. You don't get my raiding targets. How dare you. This is my island. And a hostage can be good. Because it makes it harder to, f uh, to attack and fight a war. They are much less likely to do it. 
Oh, are you coming for my stuff now, dear raiders? Oh, I hope you do. Enjoy, children. Let's go to your playdate. I sure hope he comes for my stuff. Because if he does, we're gonna get all of that from him. You just have to attack us. Just become hostile, you fool. Come on. I dare you. I double dare you. Let's see. Provisional catastrophe. Okay, this lady drank all of our wine. We're gonna take the option that has a little bit stress gain for us. Um, loses us some money, but we just raided that anyway from Vesex, so they pay for it. Nope. Denied. My church. Oh, he went for that, which has more gold in it. <laughs> Darn. As long as he doesn't attack us, we can't attack him, sadly. I can't do anything about this. He's taking our piggy bank apart. I don't like that. This is my piggy bank. I also like that Stonehenge is a thing here. Come on, come on, attack me. Just try, just come on. Oh look, he's, he's actually raised an army. Trying to fit. Oh wait, 53 gold? I'm not I'm not walking past that. Ah darn, he's he's going away. He's done. Shame. What do we have here? Invitation to a grand wedding. Now that's also DLC stuff, so we're gonna go. Uh it's, it's a little bit dangerous. Maybe we get I don't know. A mountaineer? Only helps slightly. What is this? Ah, it's fine. So, can we befriend someone? No, but we could try and seduce someone. Uh, the whole entourage tramples the guy. Now we're gonna fight him. Always a chance of getting something out of it. Hold on, what if it's poisonous? Learning lifestyle experience, we take it. So, she is... Is she the bride? Who's the bride here? Yeah, that's her. Let's go seduce the bride on that wedding there. Let's, let's go, let's do that. Let's be a real good emperor. Historically accurate. Horrible, horrible leader. Okay, we'll find another path. Eh, it's fine. Take us a little bit longer, but it's good. 106 gold on our army right now. Um, I don't care about local saints. We'll just get going. We don't. We don't care. So you, if you win in a defensive war, you might be lucky enough uh, to. Oh, we got a random martial lifestyle point. Sometimes that happens. Casa's belly costs minus 50 percent. Uh, I think we'll go with that. Bellum Eustum. That's okay. Um, when you defend and win, there's a chance that they have to pay your gold. So, like, that's kind of the best outcome, really. And the truce that you get is pretty valuable as well, I think. And we're just fighting them because they deserve to be uh, fought. So, they have Huskarls, lots of heavy infantry, bowmen. What's good against that? You are countering... Oh, this is in the way. You are countering archers. Heavy infantry. So we need more of these, really. Let's increase that a little bit. So we're literally only fighting them because these, they deserve being fought. Let's go. Maybe can we... Maybe we can <laughs> seduce the bride. No good reason. Except to be able to say that we have done it. We achieved it. Okay, time to go to the rest of Wessex. With our very successful raiders. Yeah.
You started playing in Polonia, Polonia, and you're doing good. Love turn. Well done. Let's go. <laughs> ah, look. More friendship right there. Isn't that lovely? Anyone here want to be my friend? You may be. 41%. That's not so bad. We might be friends. And he took down his troops. Good choice. Best choice he's done in a while. Polania. Polania, Polania. That's somewhere here, isn't it? Somewhere here. Let's see. What is the shortcut? Oh, no. Showing houses? No, no. Um. Ah! I, uh, never mind. Take the risk of embarrassing, hoping that you share the same kind of humor. Let's go for same kind of humor. She finds the double entendre funny. Well done. We gently ex exit this uh, conversation. That is very interesting. Now nah, we're going to go with this. That sounds good. Best option. It's a duchy in Eastern Germany. Okay. She becomes our friend. Stewardship experience, for sure. Always take the friends. If there's a friend on offer, always take the friend. It's in real... Just as in real life. And, um... We're gonna go with a chance to be seen with the great and the good. We'll take the prestige. Thank you. Now we're gonna pause this and slow this down, my lord. <sighs> Available perk in the uh, writing history. We can take the commission epic decision. I'm not sure we're gonna. So... Uh, somewhere, somewhere. Ah, it's a duchy, yeah. All right. Um, show me duchies. There it is, Polania. All right, that's that is good. Yeah, very good. <laughs> well, good luck. Denmark has taken a lot of Norway, it appears. Don't let the Germans beat you. <laughs> this is unacceptable. Every guest gets 10 opinion of us. And we gain 150 prestige. Yeah. Free prestige, thanks. Okay, we gotta look at our supply a little bit here. There's lots to raid for us. Which we will lose once we become a feudal lord. So we need to raid as much as we can right now. Who are we trying to seduce? Oh, we're back to recreation. I don't think we're actually seducing anyone anymore. So I'll just take whatever has the most green text. That is generally good. This here needs to go away. Oh, she becomes our best friend. My, my. Could talk somewhere properly. Come join us. 14% chance she becomes our friend. Uh, higher chance they become an argument. Okay, we, we just go with that. We can't seduce the lady anyway. Might as well make a best friend. Who's quite old, so her dying will be a big problem to us. <laughs> That'll be a very stressful event. Thirty-seven supply. At least we're very close to home the whole time, so I'm not too worried. Wait, do we have? Do we have a raider? Commander, that's a raider. Oh yeah, we do. He's terrible, but he needn't be anything but a good raider. That's all he needs to be. Chance to form a friendship. Welp, I'm expanding east, so I don't think the Germans are coming for me. At least for now. <laughs> Them Germans are sneaky about Eastern Europe. Trust me on that one. Uh, I'll just take that. Oh yeah, look at, look at that rating. That's what I'm talking about. Sure. That is crazy quick. Congratulations again. Succeeded our intent to recreate. 
I went to procreate, not to recreate. Narn. I have to keep the time a little bit in mind here. It is half past ten for me, so I'm not going to be long. Maybe, maybe another 10, 12 minutes or something for today. Uh, who is this? Do I want him in my court? He's very learned. He's a wise man. Come and experience the future with me. My future court physician. <laughs> Come on. Move. Barony of Norwich. Just a bit of mold. Nature will provide for us. 1% chance we die. The scheming mechanic. For now, I'm only using it to break lines and stuff, and there's something else that can be done with the mechanic in general. Oh, you're asking the right wrong person. Um, the locals must have something. I will click this. 1% chance we die. Um, the, yes, you can do a lot with it. A lot with it, but I don't enjoy it. I have never enjoyed it in any Paradox game, and this one is an exception. In Crusader Kings 2, it's kind of fine. So, you already discovered the greatest use, breaking alliances. Um, that is really, really the absolute best thing you can do with it. Um, apart from that, there is a perk point where you can extort subjects, kind of. And you can have them like, give you money for, for, uh, for secrets. So, that's... Early on, that's actually pretty good to get some money. Uh, and it doesn't really have any negative consequences to do that. Uh, you can also work with the hooks, which can be very helpful. But generating hooks is uh, a bit of a problem. Like, if you have a hook or a strong hook, you can force a vassal to stay out of factions, which is really, really good. Don't get me wrong. But getting those hooks is is a bit of a to coin toss because it's, it's very random on who you get hooks. Some people might not even allow it because they just don't have anything to hide, right? So, personally, I'm not a big fan of it, but, uh, yeah, it, it has its uses. And I'm betting if you go deeper into that, people who really enjoy that mechanic, I think they can do much more than I realize with it. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I don't do that. I just... I just let my vassals rebel and then I kill them with my allies and then I imprison them all and then I throw them in the dungeon and that's also a way of keeping them in line. Actually, in my experience, it's pretty good if you have a succession and a early rebellion. If you kill them, everyone else is going to... like You don't have to execute them. That's what I mean. But if you win against the rebellions, people are less likely to rebel against you. Um, so that's pretty cool. Who are you and why should you travel with me? Another wise man, a mystic. I think we're just going to go with ignore the hermit. Well, ignore the hermit. I, I don't. We just want to go home. Thank you. Another ransom. Sure. Take it. Do we have more ransoms here? Oh, yeah. That's a good omen. The duck quack. Duchess and Sabrina. Sure. You can have her back. Countess, kind of back. Another F or something. You can have that back too. Thank God we're back inside. Oh, look at that. We can hold court. We can found a holy order. I still don't want to do that, dear game. Please respect my right-clicking choices here. Okay, another nice little siege. Raiding situation. 32 gold. I think we can get that and then we definitely need to go home and resupply. Okay, we have the Casas Belly Innovation ready. That's pretty... Oh, we need Onaga. Good, good gosh golly. I forgot. So, public works is what we're currently fascinated with and we're working on Casas Belly. 34 years. If we push in the same direction, that's 19 years. And I think we should just push like that at the moment because we need 70% of this research so we can adopt feudal. So we have, um, that's 8. And that is also 8, so 16. What is 70% of 16? I'm not good at math. If someone could could try and uh, figure that out for me real quick there, I would appreciate that. Tired of my insistence. Okay, he he does he doesn't want me to befriend him. Fine. 
I don't I don't need you. I don't need you to be my friend. I can be friends with myself. Alright, a learning perk. Very good. That's what we want. Uh, I don't know quite how I feel about this. Uh, no, it's truly heartfelt. Though we could go with that. Nah, this is also fine. Just go with heartfelt. And we can be scientific. So right now, let's check this. How much this really actually does. So right now, this takes 19 years, right? We'll pick scientific. We might have to unpause real quick so the game realizes something has changed. And now it's 18 years, though that could have been regular. I'm not quite sure if that actually helps so much. Moravia is warring again. Well, sure, I'll come and I won't send anyone at all. Do we have too many people here? No, we should be able to take on supplies. Just takes you a little while longer. Factions are being created against us. Would you look at that? Discontentment, it's just peasants anymore. Everyone else is kind of done with being angry at me. So you guys. Why do you hate me? What is going on here? I hold the Dijur Duchy, Cultural Absolute Tribal Authority. Yeah, that's going to be a problem for a while longer. Absolute Tribal Authority. Yeah, 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 that's not good. That ain't good at all. <laughs> Ah, let's hold court. Let's not be an absentee emperor. First one, please approach. What do you want? The Irish and Anglo-Saxon increased by 20%. Let's go with that. We'll hold a big festival. I'll pay for it. With, with sexy and money. <laughs> uh, my hands are full. Someone else can take care of that child. I'm not gonna take care of that child. And we're going to go with uh, the Diplomacy option. 99% chance it goes good. And well, why wouldn't I take that option? Could sponsor an inspiration. You're a master. 136 gold. We're sexy in gold. Go to Europe. Now go to... The world is yours, my friend. Go wherever you want. He eventually brings back an artifact. Maybe, potentially, probably, possibly. What does this belong to? Are you just your own thing? No, you belong to... County of Solon in East Francia. Sometimes. Okay. I want to possess something truly unique. I think we're gonna go with something truly unique. I'm not quite sure what this does, but truly unique sounds great. No, okay, we're we're losing. Okay, we're gonna stand on a bit of the army, I think. Uh, these guys, we're gonna stand down. Takes a lot of time to reconstitute. Always keep that in mind. But right now we're not looking at anything where we need an army, so that's fine. You want to count it? I like this. That they added the opinion that they have right there. Okay, I could transfer some vassal here. Sure, I do that. I don't care. Let's clean up Ireland a little bit. So now we have two smaller armies. They're perfectly fine still. But I wanted to build Onaga. Let me do that. We need these. Especially right now, they, they only cost us prestige to get and uh, upgrade and maintain. So they are much cheaper for us right now to get than once we're feudal. So we'll really push into that. We want a bunch of them. Can we station them somewhere? Oh yeah, we have a little bit still. And we have more people unstationed. No, they're just... No, oh, they're unstationed. Oh, the regiment is raised, so we can't put them anywhere, of course. That's fine. Who's fighting Galer again? Are you? No, you're just... You're just being raided by me. And you have a lot of allies, don't you? Yes. 
but they're all inside his realm, so they don't need anything for him. Well, one of them is in my realm, but... That won't help him. Who are you fighting? Fighting against Duke Goswin. Um, wait a moment. That's one of my lads, isn't it? My dear friend. Yeah, he's not my ally, so I can't join his war. Would you like to have an alliance? No, can't. Shame. Eventually someone is going to get Galer. Probably me. <laughs> we'll get it. We'll get it. And we will have to fight Frankia over that little piece of land here eventually. I don't want my ally my island here split like that. I don't like that. Alright, these guys here are decently supplied. Back to raiding. And one of these has the raider leader. One of these doesn't. Do we have another raider leader? Maybe. That would be so cool. But I don't think we do. No, we do not. So we leave the competent lad in there. Oh, wait. No, you guys aren't even raiders. No, you need to go back. You need to be raiders. Actually, you got to join your brothers there. Let's see. Louis' knowledge should be enough to keep him safe. My god, I hope he doesn't have to fight one. Ah, he'll be fine. 67% chance he's fine. Yes, he was. So, I combine these armies so they're no longer raiding. So I have to send them back, put them back to raiding. And then we can go out there. And the English, they... The, the, the Vesexians, they have raised their armies to try and defend against us. Cute. Very cute. Our alliance with King Ladislav has expired. Ah, big shame. We never really did anything with it. Neither for him nor against him. Alright, but I think that's it for me for today. Uh, ooh, stewardship lifestyle experience. And we become the owner of Palaces of Beavers. Construction time, minus 15%. What adorable animals. Oh. She should have this book. No, we'll take it. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah. We'll leave it here for today. Thank you very much for joining in the stream. If you did in the stream. Um, since I'm recording also for YouTube, I'm going to do the outro for YouTube. So don't be confused right now. So uh, if you're watching over on YouTube, come join Twitch. Check it out as well. Two times a week. Crusader Kings. Monday evenings and Saturday evenings. And Tuesday is more of a variety thing, though I might move that to Thursday, so we have a little bit more of a spread throughout the week. If you have any questions around Crusader Kings for uh, your game, come join the YouTube. Comment on any of my videos is also fine. I will get around to answering you, trying to help you out. And if you'd rather have a little chat while we're on stream, absolutely come there. Play alongside, play your own game while you do, like Captain... Uh, Bira has been doing here and if you then have questions while you're playing you can ask them while you're playing and I can answer them while I'm playing as well so thank you very much hope to see you around again and have a great evening or day or night whatever it is for you see you around until then bye bye